Greetings, everyone. Craig Nolan here, jumping off the news desk and a chance to uh, do an interview. Um, thanks for joining us here on the interview set tonight, uh, talking with uh, Jesse Robinson, who is radio coordinator for WERA right here just down the hall. And welcome, Jesse. How you doing? Thanks, Mr. Nolan. Yeah, Thank nice. you for having me in the studio. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, I wanted to ask you, first of all, uh, where did you, where did it all begin? Where are you from? Right, right. Uh, Clark County, Virginia. Clark County, okay. Yeah, it's about an hour well, and a half. Can you narrow it down? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, an hour and a half um, west with traffic, probably. With traffic, um, of course, always. Yeah, near Berryville, okay, Virginia. Okay, right. Um, so my graduating high school class was like something like 50 people and a couple cows. And a couple of cows. That's yeah. All right. Did the cows get their diplomas? <laughs> they did. Unfortunately, Excellent. they ate them. Oh, they so, ate them. All right. Yeah. More it was a delicious fun. treat. Mm, wonder how yeah. that milk tasted. Okay. <laughs> well, it was smart. It made whoever drank it smart. <laughs> you know? Of course. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for joining us, and uh, you're here. we're here to talk about WERA, which is uh, the low-power FM yeah. station here uh, at, at AIM. Uh, beautiful studio in there, and I just recently having taken your uh, radio production course, it was fun. Uh, hey, you know, you weren't, you weren't that ops. bad of a radio <laughs> Not student. That bad. Yeah, you, uh, you got bad. in there, and you it had that fun. great sample show. It was very well done. I enjoyed it. It was, it was good stuff. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about WERA and what you do there? Yeah, so as the radio coordinator, I'm uh, in charge of all of the station programming, scheduling, uh, coordination, social media. There's a, a lot of, uh, I got good at juggling when I signed really? on. Really, a lot yeah. of different hats there. A you lot of different a, hats. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, sometimes there's uh, production work, um, engineering. Um, you know, Spinatron, I remember when you told us about <laughs> Spinatron. That's Spinatron, quite a website. Yeah, that, that manages our, um, our program schedule on the website, That's too. That's amazing. That's so, quite a website. So, yeah, this is a, you know, a really exciting station. We started, uh, we had the big launch party in here, December 6, 2000. 2015. Um, I was here. You were here. I was here. I, was I wasn't here. on the staff at that point. Right. I was. Um, I was in the building though with uh, Mr. Hef Munson doing a radio drama. I have. Yeah, a little a little shout out there. Uh, we did like a foley demonstration a couple oh. times, and we recorded the radio I drama. I think for the foley demonstration. Yeah, it was a really fun time, um, and we've been we've been kind of hitting it hard ever since at the station. It's and going great guns. I think you're getting a lot of interest, a lot of people producing shows yeah. and all kinds of shows. And right. uh, it's a lot to manage. So it is with, uh, you with got your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> well, with re-airs, we're up to uh, uh, over a hundred programs wow. on that station schedule. Yeah. Produced, produced here. Produced yeah. Here. We have a couple syndicated programs, yeah. which means they send it from elsewhere, but a uh, good 95% of our shows are produced in-house by our local Arlington producers, and which so, is really cool. That is amazing. And about, what, a year and a half on the air? A year like and that. a half on the air. Hard to yeah. believe, coming up on two years here. We, re we really grew in the last year. You have. Um, what else can you tell us about WERA? I mean, uh, other than programming um, and interest in the station, which, right. is, which has been... Phenomenal. I think right. it's been great. Well, uh, you know, people should know that there are multiple ways to tune in. A lot of people, they they see low-power FM and they're like, oh, well, I can only get it for a couple miles and that's it. Not the case. We have WERA.FM, which is our website, which is streaming so the radio streaming all the time. as well. And so you can, you can hear the live radio 24-7 from the website. And uh, we also have our on-demand page on the website too mm. so you can see all of the past uh, recordings of the WERA program. You can listen to the archival stuff. Oh, all of them are archived up on the site so you can uh, much like you would binge a Netflix show you can you can binge through radio shows <sighs> right there on our website so and we're also on the TuneIn mobile app. Oh wow, so, so yeah. three different I mean, yeah. besides FM right. out over the airwaves streaming right. and what was the third one? The TuneIn Mobile app. TuneIn Mobile app. Yeah. Apps. So, it's apps are where it's at. So we we're we're reaching out just you are. beyond the community, but we're trying to reach a bigger community. Is there any chance that, that you you know uh, over the years you may increase your radiating power at some point and get uh, a bigger transmitter? Possibly. Push it out there a little the further. In the future, um, our main goal right now is to continue to grow what we have and mm. and really master what yeah. we have right now. Um, which I'm still really excited about. 
So. And you, well, you're to a little bit more about your background. You're from around uh, the Winchester area, went to right. George Mason University, yep. and did a little bit of radio there, from what you told me earlier. Right. Yep. I uh, I was uh, a station radio manager, right? E eventually, yeah. End. I was uh, I was a radio uh, DJ for WGMU. I did. Weren't we all? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We were, uh, I was a, um, a sports talk host for go. a while. Uh, I did some music rotation that for a while. That sounds like fun. And then I eventually ended up with my show, Improv for Mason, which involved uh, listeners sending us a one-word suggestion via Twitter, which we would use to dive into fully improvised well, plenty of room for expansion scenes. there with yeah. one word to work on. One word, and then someone would usually follow up with a story or what yeah. the word makes them think of, and then we just dive right into long form improv over the radio. And you do some improv now on your show. You have a show on WERA. Want to talk right. about that I, a little bit? I took a little bit of the flavor from Improv for Mason, and I brought it with me here to WERA. Kind of a new format, though. Uh, this show is called The Provcast mm -hmm. on WERA. Sounds familiar. Right, yep. You can hear it <laughs> Thursdays um, from 7.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, on WERA. Um, and it's a, basically a 30-minute one-on-one conversation with a local comedian, actor, or improviser in the area. Oh, well, that sounds so really we, fun So we to talk produce. stories, we talk everything. and Provcast. Usually, yeah, Provcast. Play on, play on podcast and improv together. Well, if people want to uh, contact me, they can just send me an email to my Arlington Media email address. That's which is? Jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, at arlingtonmedia.org. Okay. Or you can just hit me up on Twitter. It's Jesse Robinson 94 I try to be funny sometimes. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, you folks out there in radio and TV land, give WERA a listen, oh, 96.7 yeah. LPFM. That's it from here. For now, Craig Nolan, back to the desk.